There are now four new bills on Governor Ron DeSantis' desk waiting to be signed after a three-day special session. The policies all fight federal COVID-19 vaccine mandates. ABC Action News reporter Larissa Scott joins us live in Tampa this morning to break down what this now means for businesses and schools going forward. Good morning, Larissa. Hi, good morning, Dia and James. And it was a fast-moving special session. Once signed by the governor, Florida will become the first state with a bill that finds companies for requiring COVID-19 vaccine mandates. The bills essentially protect workers who don't want to get vaccinated and prevent local governments, including schools and private businesses, from enacting COVID-19 shot mandates for workers under the threat of hefty penalties. Public schools will also no longer have the authority to require masking. The most extensive bill that was on the agenda will require businesses to allow opt-outs for vaccination for medical reasons, religious exemption, proof of immunity from a previous COVID-19 COVID-19 infection by submitting regular testing or by using masks provided by the employer. Senators debated for hours and Democrats offered dozens of amendments to soften legislation to protect people with underlying health conditions from working in unvaccinated environments, but Republicans rejected those changes. This is the governor's direct defiance of the president and the federal government. That is the only reason we're here right now. We are fighting for freedom. We're standing up for liberty, we're honoring the culture we've created in this country, and we're leading. And coming up in our next hour, we're taking a closer look at those bills that were passed and how they will affect local schools and governments. I'm live in Tampa this morning, Larissa Scott, ABC Action News.